Because there was no gas pressure within the barrel and chamber, the system allowed for a lighter construction and produced almost no recoil. So what were the features that made the gyrojet such a poor gun? Firstly, the rounds were too expensive to produce. Considering the fact that MBA tried to sell the pistol to the army, the government would have been forced to spend a fortune on ammunition if the soldiers carrying the gyrojets were engaged in long-term conflicts. Moreover, apart from the high maintenance cost, the pistol showed poor accuracy and a significant fall-off in velocity once the rocket was burned out. All in all, the gyrojet was an interesting concept, but completely impractical. It appeared on the market in 1965, but the American Armed Forces never accepted it for service.